Right, so I'm back doing some more bits and bobs on the Fiesta. Um, so for this this car, it was one that was previous videos, bought it, let's have a little bit of a tinker with it. It's kind of taken a bit of a back burner while I was getting the uh, work done on the Discovery, making sure that was um, sorted from its gearbox, oil and time belt change. Onto the Fiesta, um, I should have probably taken a bit more uh, time with this, but I wanted to just start ripping through it. Um, one thing that again, wasn't really needed for the MOT, um, I just didn't like it, it was, wasn't too difficult thing to fix, but the wing mirrors were wobbly. Um, the previous owner lived on a, lived on a, a street where there's no off-road parking and the wing mirrors have been knocked about, so I'll just show you them and show you what you need to do to replace them. So first of all, first of all I've got the, um, the door card is all in pieces, which doesn't really help. Uh, I can show you the other side in a minute. Um, this is the mirror from, um, from the side of the car and you can see uh, like that's cracked and if you take the cap off uh, underneath it the plastic's cracked underneath the plastic as well it was gaffer taped on before um, the light lens it's just grim uh, colour wise it could have done with a bit better um, and then the mounting um, doesn't look too bad but it was definitely not not very secure it was quite, kind of wobbly um, so while it wasn't essential I found online I found the uh, I found replacement units, um, you know, a nice shiny indicator um, for, I think they were for the pair, 54, and um, they came with wing mirrors that were primed. So let me show you the wing mirror that I put on this side. Oh, let me see if my light's going to give me any good. Uh, so that's the mirror I've put on. What I've done, um, I did some gloss black um, paint on here. In fact, I'm not really giving it enough. This side seems a bit, bit rough, this is a bit shinier as it should be so I need to probably get a bit more on that one and the idea is there I've got gloss black wheels now, alloys on it um, so with the wing mirrors they're kind of matching with that bit again if it was a project I was doing I maybe would gloss black roof as well um, but that was a lot easier than trying to get a tango spray on there and the caps that are on there are yeah it's cracked. So the process for getting to the mirror isn't too difficult. Down the side here, there's a little rubber bung. You take that off, and up inside there, I think it's a, was it 12, 13? Uh, it's a 13 mil socket. I used a long one. There's just one nut that holds that in there, and then the mirror comes off. The difficulty is that you've got to get that plug apart to plug it in to get your mirrors working, or your, your um, electric working. Now I'd assume that on the um, on other models it'd be exactly the same. If you've got things like uh, electric folding mirrors and that sort of thing, it'd be the same thing to get it off. But it's not so easy to do um, when you've got to get the entire door card off. But let me show you that. I'm going to come, around, come around the other side. Um, so on the other side, uh, this is still intact. You can see that's the mirror. Uh, the mirror is still there. Um, it's, it's a bit wobbly, but the Again, the, the frame, oh, where are we? Oh, good work, look at this. You can tell uh, I was never destined to be a professional videographer. Um, you can see the mirror cap there is, this one is just completely discolored. Um, so that's did uh, some of these brackets. That's not too bad, but then the other part to go around it isn't good. And um, I think it might've been, the indicator might've been gone, I can't remember. Um, but they're all gone. Right, so, anyway, that's that. This one, uh, there's that rubber bung I was telling you about. So on the other side, I've already taken that one out. So if you just take that bung out, uh, if you just take the bung out of the, there, you can get to the bolt and you can take the, um, take the mirror off, but you can't take that off because you can't unplug it. The plug is in behind here. It might, it may be. There's a way to get it off, I'm not sure. Anyway, to get that off, there's under the handle, and this is similar to sort of similar stuff. I've had Fiestas since sort of the the first one was in the 70s, but taking one apart was 98. So uh, inside there, you can see that round clip. If you get a little lit, a screwdriver under that and pop it out, there's a bolt under there. And um, you've also got on this car, you've got um, this metal or not metal. It looks metal on here. This plastic trim here needs to be prized off. Uh, I'm not sure I can do it with one hand, or whether you might need a trim tool. I think I used like a flat bladed screwdriver and just got it into a place where you wouldn't notice. 
if it was to be marked up, but take that off, and inside there you've got another bolt in there, and oh, I think that's it. So I'm going to go and rebuild the other door and check and see if that's the right thing or not. And um, once you've got that off, you have to be very careful. They're just around the edges, um, all around here. You've got little pops that come out um, to hold the door in place. So let's have a look in. Let's grab the other. Uh, there we go. So here's the door card from the other side. Stand up and have a look. So you can see there, actually, there's two. So there's two holes. When that trim's off, you've got that hole there is behind that trim. That hole there is behind that trim, and you can then you can work that through the hole. It doesn't have to be detached. Um, but once they've taken those two bolts out, um, and the one behind the the door handle, three bolts, and then the rest of it just pops off. Um, what I also like about this, it seems to be quite well spec for a for, for a Ford Fiesta. Um, they're normally trying to do things on the cheap, um, but this here, I tried to take this whole skin off. But all of this is mounted, so all of the electronics and the motor and everything is all mounted to this plastic backing. And there's just a bolt in here. I took them all out. I wasn't sure if it had come out, and they didn't. Um, but yeah, that all bolts in, um, which is quite well engineered from, from Ford. Uh, I've seen these before where it's just a piece of like almost like plastic or really thin uh, insulated material, and that's it. There's nothing else, so that's quite good. Um, one other thing, one of the reasons for taking this door cut off anyway in the first place was that the bolt that I dropped down there, when I thought I could just get away with repairing the um, mirror, the bolt dropped right down inside. I thought taking this off would be interesting to have a look behind, and sometimes it's one of the things where it might be interesting, but it was a total waste of time. There are three torques on here. I think they're 25s or 30s. It might even be gone there, actually. Let's have a look. I've got a full torque set. Let's have a look, what's that one? That's a 20, it's not a 20. Yeah, 25. So I'll get me, get me ratchet on that one. A 25, three of them, there's two on the top, one at the bottom. Speaker comes out and you've got a nice big access hole down there. And it's easy then to get the nut out from there. Um, I think that's it really, it's quite straightforward to get the door card off. Um, and you can quite straightforward to do the mirrors if you want to replace them. Hopefully that's have helped some people. Um, see you soon.